when you write a song like this, you sort of have to balance the dark with the light. And Casey is one of the best artists at doing this. She makes songs that can make you feel happy and sad at the same time. Hey, I'm Josh Osborne. I've written songs like Take Your Time by Sam Hunt, Vice by Miranda Lambert, Drink a Problem by Midland. But today we're gonna to talk about the Casey Musgrave song, Merry Go Round, because I wrote that. Merry, merry, quack and shmerry. We get bored, so we get merry. I think Merry Go Round is very much a song about small towns. It's a song about, unfortunately, sometimes you feel trapped in a small town. When we worked on this song, Shane McAnally and Casey Musgraves and I, all three of us had very similar experiences growing up in small towns that were were great for giving you a place to grow up, great for places to become who you are, but but at the same time, some people uh, maybe felt trapped or stuck in them, and I think that's, that's what this song is uh, attempting to capture. So we booked a little riding trip to go to uh, a ranch in Texas, just to sort of get out of Nashville, uh, be separated from you know the day-to-day -day stuff, just sort of have uh, some creative room to breathe. So we, we went to this, uh, the Crawford Ranch, and Shane is actually from that area originally, so we all flew into Dallas, and uh, Shane's mom was having a cookout at her house. And I was talking to Shane's mom, who's a huge character, and I said, Margaret, I noticed down the street there's these, this house, and there, there's a bunch of cars parked down there. Is that a business, or are they having a party, or what's going on? And she said, you know, Josh, they're selling Mary Kay or Mary Jane or something out of that house. I don't know what they're doing down there. And uh, instantly, my songwriter radar went off and uh, I pulled Shane aside and I said, man, your mom just said the craziest line. That would be a great line in a song. We mentioned the idea to Casey and she she just knew instantly. She said, I, I think it's uh, it's about a broken small town. And um, I think it's it's about some people that end up feeling trapped in their, in their small town. Mama's hooked on Mary Kay, brother's hooked on Mary Jane. We went out to the ranch, we started working on the song, and wrote the song, honestly, in about a couple hours. It's sort of, once we had that inspiration, it just sort of kind of started falling out. And uh, also on that writing retreat with us were Luke Laird and Brandy Clark. And I remember we had finished the song, and Luke and Brandy came downstairs, and we were all talking about, we should go get some lunch. And they said, well, why don't you guys play what you wrote? So we played merry-go-round for them. And as soon as it was over, Luke Laird said, play it again. And so we, we played through it again. And it got done and Luke said, I think you guys are gonna win a Grammy for that song. My favorite line in the whole song is tiny little boxes in a row. I grew up in a coal mining town. And when the coal mines were, were the big industry there back in the day when they were really booming, they would build these little miners houses all along the, the, the two lane road that runs through my hometown. And they just look like little boxes stuck into the side of a mountain. And so that was, uh, I think it was a line I came up with because of the image in my head was that, the tiny little boxes in a row. Tiny little boxes in a row Ain't what you want, it's what you know Daddy's hooked on Mary two doors down. Daddy's hooked on Mary two doors down You can always tell when people haven't heard the song before because they laugh at that line. They're gonna get a, a nice, uh, hopefully, uh, roundabout punch at the end of the chorus. <laughs> Same trailer, different part for me. Um, is like a perfect country album because it 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 feels homemade, but it feels Nashville at the same time. Like you feel like professionals did it. It feels like it's really well done, but at the same time, it feels homemade. And I I was so blown away by by that song because I, I heard it obviously before I heard the rest of the album. Uh, and I, I was fortunate enough to have a few other songs on that album as well. And and every song I had on there, I had the same feeling where you just felt like you were dealing with an artist at the sort of peak of their powers. And it's very funny because it was her first album. I hear that still to this day in that record. So I've, I've loved it since the first time I heard it. 